What's up everybody, Justin Furtado here, and in this video I am going to talk about how to establish a self-care routine that will work for you. So before I jump in on that, I want to talk about my self-care journey. And it always hasn't always been pretty. Actually, two years ago, to this time frame, fall, my sophomore year, I'm currently a senior in college, everything was going wrong. I was binge drinking, I was suppressing my feelings, I was overeating. I was sick all the time. Things just weren't going well for me. I didn't want to get out of bed. I wasn't happy. I looked around my mirror and I didn't I didn't really like what I see every day and it was hard. Um and it's hard to think about those times now. But I'm in a much better place. And that was part of my journey. So if you're not doing well right now, it's part of your journey. But you can make it better. You can put yourself in a situation over time. It's going to take time with self-care. But you can reach all the dreams that are possible for you with self-care. So let me talk about it. So eventually, I slowly you know, started implementing bike rides. That was my first thing. I loved riding my bike, getting back out into nature. Um, I started exercising more. I started gratitude journaling and journaling in general, reflecting on my day, gratitude, just being thankful for what I, my life in general. And then also eventually that led to meditation and meditation led to just um, trying to be still, going on walks. And then I got healthy and I wanted to eat healthy and I'm actually a health coach. So if you want to get healthy, just comment below. On top of that, I just, overall, everything just started falling into place, just slowly over time. It's been about a two-year journey where I say I hit rock bottom, and now, you know, I'm just always chasing to the top. I'm always chasing more, just through self-care. So, with that in mind, I want to talk about four necessary components to your self-care routine. They're going to look different for everyone different for everyone in their journey, but they're necessary in your life every single week. And number one is doing something that you enjoy every week. For me, that's going on a bike ride, going on a walk, you know, being outside. Um, it could be for you, it could be painting, it could be watching basketball, it could be uh, watching football, whatever it may be. Doing something that you enjoy at least once a week. It could be video games, literally anything. Number two is do something that brings stillness into your life. So for me, I meditate. I meditate in the mornings, 10 minutes a day with a calm app. Works great for me. I also go on walks where it's just silent and it's quiet and I just don't even think. And it's really hard. It's really hard when your mind's racing all the time. But just slowing it down. You need to slow life down and getting stillness just kind of brings that inner peace and something else that you can do besides walking is journaling i love to journal every night as well number three find a morning and an evening routine so for me in the mornings i'm waking up and i'm either exercising or stretching in the mornings whether that be a run and you can go on youtube i got some great morning stretch routines on youtube it's it's amazing and then with that i also gratitude journal through the panda planner i plan out my day that you don't necessarily have to do that but gratitude is great to really soak in and focus on the positives of life and i also meditate in the morning like i mentioned earlier and it really just helps me get in a calm state of mind and ready for the day so i also do cold showers that just helps me whew, wake me up get me out of bed especially if i'm a little tired so that's my morning routine. And then at night, I do like to do some stretching as well, some slower stretching and journaling, reflecting on the day, and not typically taking a minute to just debrief and slow down. That way, before you're going to bed, you kind of like really, you slowly go to bed. And I also like to read for 30 minutes. That You don't need to do that if you're not a reader, but just really to take some time and really rewind at the end of the day is really important so those actually one more the essentials is what i call these so that is 
exercising, or being active every day. Going on walks, bike riding, whatever works for you, Pilates, yoga, just moving every day. Honestly, moving every day. Eating healthy. I'm a health coach. I can help you with that, but there's plenty of different things you can see on the internet. Just really trying to watch how much sugar and refined carbohydrates you're getting. Um, trying to eat, you know, your fruits, veggies, all foods that are organic and not processed. That's a big one. Drinking 64 ounces of water. That's a big one. Staying hydrated. And you hear it all the time, but getting seven hours at least of sleep. And if you need more, get more. If you're one of those people that don't need it, it can do six. Great. That's great for you. So those are the four components that are necessary for your self-care routine. Implement them however you see fit. However you see fit. However, with that in mind, it's a journey, like, I, like I've been saying. And I believe in all of you. There's incredible, incredible things out there for you all. And self-care will help unlock it and help you take care of the things that, you know, normally bug you on your plate. And I'm really proud of you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I know you're going to start establishing some great routines. Thank you all for watching this video and make sure to subscribe, especially if you got a lot of value out of it. Have a great day, y'all. Cheers.